set far back from Baia Lafourche, we are in Gaines, Louisiana. Now, this whole area was first settled by the Washa and Shitawasha Native American tribes for centuries. They traded with other tribes in the area as well as the early Europeans that arrived in the 1700s. Some locals to South Louisiana can trace their ancestry to these two tribes. In the 1740s, a man named Claude Joseph de Broy Jr. purchased the land that is present-day Gaines from these Washa and Chihuahua tribes for 12 head of cattle. He named it La Vacherie, meaning cattle ranch, not to be confused with the town of Vachery along the Mississippi River today. His plan was to supply New Orleans markets with beef. In 1879, J.R. Gaines came down from Louisville, Kentucky and purchased a portion of DeBroy's holdings. The Gaines family was in the taffy business and needed a source of sugar for their product, so they built the Gaines Plantation, which is located in the very back of Gaines. It was here that they would grow the sugar cane to produce the sugar for their taffy plant back home in Louisville. In 1890, Gaines and his brothers incorporated Golden Ranch Sugar and Cattle Company, which is still located in the back of town and has been named the Golden Ranch Plantation. The post office established on that plantation was called Gaines, and the name kind of stuck, although some elders in the area still call it Vashri. When they bought the property, they traded cows to the meat markets in New Orleans, which was their original plan, but it wasn't a success at all because it took too long for the meat to cross the river from their location. It was from this point on that they focused only on sugar. Highway 654 is the road branching off from Highway 308 that runs along by Lafouche, and it's the only roadway to get to Gaines. Down here, we more commonly refer to this road as the Gaines Road, though. Along the Gaines Road, you'll find most of the landmarks in Gaines, including St. Anthony's Catholic Church. This church holds a statue of Our Lady of Prompt Sucker, which was believed to have saved a child's life. Prompt Sucker is often depicted as the Virgin Mary holding baby Jesus, and it means quick assistance and support in times of hardship and distress. According to the story, a young girl named May Io was violently stepped on by a horse, which left her with severe damages and in critical condition. May's family prayed to a picture of Our Lady of Prompt Sucker, and May's mother made a promise that if May lived, they would place a statue of Our Lady of Prompt Sucker in the family's parish church in Raceland. A few days later, May stopped hemorrhaging, and in just a few days after that, her face that was crushed by the horse had returned to normal. May's mother bought a statue as promised, but there was no place in Raceland or Lockport, for that matter, for another statue. A few years later, the statue was offered to St. Anthony's Church in Gaines, where it was accepted. Now, in the 1920s, a severe storm destroyed St. Anthony's Church, and miraculously, only the statue was left standing. Throughout the next few years, people in the community took care of the statue until it was given back to St. Anthony's, where it is now permanently housed. Since the 1970s, a food and cultural festival is held annually called the Gaines Bon Mange Festival, but at first it was named the Gaines Day Festival. In February of 1980, they officially changed the name to the Gaines Bon Mange or the Good Food Festival and is held around the community center. One of the people that got the community center up and running was Mr. Gary Dominique and the community park behind the center is named after him as a result. For over a century, the people of Gaines have celebrated Mardi Gras just a little bit differently than most parts of Louisiana. With a whipping ritual called the chase, the adults dress out in colorful masks and disguises to chase and symbolically whip the young kids. This celebration differs from the better known Coris de Mardi Gras, which is the Mardi Gras runs of rural Southwest Louisiana. And Gaines is one of only two Southeastern Louisiana communities that still practice the run. Subscribe to us for more Louisiana history, horror, folklore, and culture. And take a hard left on Baia Lafouche and explore this tiny old community of Gaines for your next Louisiana road trip. If you plan on being here during Mardi Gras, don't forget your special Mardi Gras suit to participate in the festivities. I'm Kyle Crosby, and this is Louisiana Dread Quick History.